Yeah, this whole side. Yeah. 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 This is all waste. Look at it, it's lost. Mm -hmm. This is all waste. 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 Oh, where we're standing. This is not an original bricks. This is not an original floor. Blood the bricks are very deep down. Yeah. Feces. So they had to walk through this before they got on the boat. They stayed here yeah, waiting for ships. Mm -hmm. So that is the first one, 200. Second, 200. It's also 200. Mm -hmm. 600. But the holes here were windows for those they kept in this dungeon. Mm -hmm. Windows. The one here said was a spy hole. But on top of this dungeon, British went to build a church. Uh, they said they were Christians, and the church was called SPG, Society for the Propagation of the Gospel. That changed into Anglican Church. The Anglican Church was at the top. Let's come. He's attending to some family issues, I don't know. Oh, move inside, please. You can leave your offerings in the can. This way. This is the last one. And per the calculation, 200 were also in this particular dungeon. So out of the thousand enslaved Africans, by the time British were ready to go with them, many died. The survived ones, that was not the end of their journey. They were taken there. They would chain them when they got here. Then there was a hole at the back of this white curve. They call it a tunnel. So they forced them through the tunnel. They take them to the door of no return. And that was the end of it. They did not come back. Is that it over here? They started from here. There's a tunnel leading to the door. It's a big passage. They had passage. to go through the tunnel on top oh, of all that torture. Then they got to go through this tunnel. tunnel. Underground tunnel. Oh my. But the tunnel was closed in 1833. But when we go outside, the tunnel is there. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. But here, nobody can see that. Mm -hmm. When they bring them from this place, to the, uh, from the darkness to this place, because they were here for a longer time. Mm -hmm. Some were actually sick mm -hmm. and weak. Mm -hmm. So here they look at them, the sick ones, they will select them. They will send them to that small room to go and wait temporarily to allow the stronger ones to go. That was why they created this window. So that God there wasn't light at that, at that time. This will help them to see who's sick and who's not sick. Mm -hmm. So they call where we are to the selection room mm -hmm. or sorting room. Mm -hmm. So whenever the stronger ones live, the sick ones are brought from there and kept back here, but they died because they were not given any medical yeah. attention. What we have in front of us today, it is not part of the dungeon system. It is a shrine. And we have to understand that before Europeans came to Africa with Christianity and Islam, that was brought by the Arabs, Africans, we knew God. Our people pray to God through lesser gods like this. Our ancestors believe that their powers is some stones, trees, and Obviously, they communicate to God through, through those objects. So before British built the castle, in 1665, this place was actually a rocky area. There was a huge rock around this part of the land. The locals were here, they coming here to do rituals on that rock. When the British built the castle on the rock, any time the local people wanted to come and pour libation, British would be saying no. So local people came for a sample of that rock, in this two piece of rocks, to their community. They were doing the rituals. So when the British left, 
He brought a piece of rock. Say, now he has turned into a shrine. Mm -hmm. The name is Nana Ntabi. Mm -hmm. In Cape Coast Metropolis, there are 77 of this. Nana is one of them. The shrine is about the two still piece of rocks. And if you look at the corner, you can see some flowers here. It doesn't mean that somebody died here. The enslaved Africans taken away. The actual people did not get the chance to come back alive. But now, the descendants like you are coming home yes. from the US. They come from Jamaica, Brazil, Suriname, other parts of the world. Whenever they come here, we go on a tour like we are doing now. Frankly speaking, many, many of them share tears with us. So that depends on our belief. Some pray, they pour libation, they do other rituals, and leave this and then go back, especially during Panafest in emancipation time. That's why the place is like this. We have some personalities who visited this castle over the years. Somebody like President Obama was here, the wife of Trump was here, the congressman. <laughs> <laughs> the congressmen and women from America were here. Stephen Harvey was here. Danny Glover was here. Akon was here. Reverend Jesse Jackson was here. T.I. was here. Ludacris. Uh, Ludacris was here. Maurice Kudu was here. Maurice Kudu yesterday. Well, Maurice Kudu was here. He was here. This is the second time. This is the second time here. And, and in a moment from now, Beyonce is coming here. In a moment from now. Okay. So we have a lot of people coming. Ambassadors, congressmen, senators, chiefs, all over the globe. So today, we will not be going to the tunnel. Through the tunnel, going here, we'll be moving up. But you asked a question. Let me ask the question before we move up. Uh, you like, wanted to know the slaves were assets. They were assets. Why did they maltreat them? Thank you very much. So they figured out something. There were some reasons for that. Europeans gave those reasons. One, the entire building. Europeans were here, not, there were not more than 200 at a time. Sometimes the number reduced about 150 or less than 100. So the Africans were 1,300. So they were saying that if they should keep them as strong as possible, they will revolt against them, they will fight against them. So they, they, they weaken them in order not to rise against them. That is one. For them to stay for about three months, in a way, was not intentional because there were fewer ships were to come from the new world to come and take them from Europe. So for instance, if you are brought today, in two days a ship came, you will go. But those are the ships left where they were brought in. They have to wait for the ship to get to Brazil or maybe North America and go to Europe, then come back. So they wait for about three months. And another reason why it was a kind of selection process. So if you're not able to go through, if you get there, you will not be, you know, like, it, you, you, you will not be, uh, they won't benefit from you. Just like my brother said, that I'm unsuccessful, that's why I'm here. And the last reason was during the latter part of the trade where institutions were then coming up. So insurance uh, were coming up, or insurance, uh, uh, they developed insurance system. So most of the traders here insured their captives in the dungeons. So some of them intentionally allowed the Africans to die. And they produced documents covering the people. And the companies in England pays the money. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. So they will intentionally let the people die and the companies will pay them because they know they insure them. These are the reasons they gave. But to me, it's not enough. If God would be wonderful, some of this British should reincarnate and come back to life. Then me, I'll go to Hague and go and get a warrant and go and bring them here to come and answer. But it's unfortunate they are dead and gone. Oh, but they are taken. So we can move out now. Let's go to my left. Oh, the so, watch your steps, drag us, yeah. move out. There's a movie called Goodbye Uncle Tom. It's on um, YouTube. What's it called? Goodbye Uncle Tom. Part of it was found. Where are we going? Are we going back?